In today's video, we're opening Yu-Gi-Oh's most insane set ever. What is up, everybody? We are back, and who is ready for a bonanza? I know I certainly am, because these leaks the last few weeks, like, just constantly, well, I guess they're reveals. They're constantly revealing new cards from the 200-card subset, and oh my goodness, the subset is absolutely amazing. As for the other cards, I've seen a few things, like uh, they reprinted all the stuff from the tins, which is not surprising. I think at this point, we should probably just stop doing tins if we're gonna keep doing rarity collection things, because they seem like they kind of just take over and just do everything again. But we're not talking about the tin today, we're talking about the Quarter Century Bonanza, which I think is gonna be really fun. So before we get into it, the giveaway is a booster box of the Quarter Century Bonanza. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you think about this new set. I think it's gonna be a lot of positives, but I guess if you have any negatives, you can put them down below. I'm sure the negatives are kind of the same, like we've reprinted everything at this point, which I kind of accepted it after Rarity 2 came out. I was like, okay, they're just gonna keep doing this. So, uh, and then this came out and they've re they're reprinting like 900 cards. So I'm like, not surprise <laughs> really at all this week is the whatnot card show the largest card show on the planet not only are we opening Yu-Gi-Oh's most hyped set in a very long time the quarter century bonanza which includes over 900 different cards and that will be on Thursday by the way we're also opening a first edition wavy legend of blue eyes booster box yeah, we've never opened a wavy box before. I have also opened and verified that there are first edition Legend of Blue Eyes wavy packs inside. This will be open on Friday on Whatnot. No one has ever pulled a wavy Blue Eyes White Dragon on camera before, so this could be the very first time. And not only will we be opening these awesome products, we'll be giving away a Buster Blade or 2003-10 on both streams. So you guys could win a 2003 Buster Blade or 10 and many, many more on these streams. And did I forget to mention something? Oh, $15 free money on whatnot. So if you wanna buy anything on the Thursday or Friday stream, which both start at 4 p.m. Central, check your daylight savings time, uh, you know, it, it'll be on the app. So just go bookmark the show so you don't, you know, have any weird daylight savings times and miss an hour, because you wouldn't wanna do that on these big streams. But you get to use that $15 free credit. We will also still have a few of our Magia mats still available. So massive whatnot week coming up. I hope to see you guys there. It's going to be so much fun. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, so as we're opening this, a few items. So first of all, shout out to Frontline Games who hooked me up with these two boxes, well, actually more than these two boxes to open up for them. Uh, we will be doing my own opening later this week when we are opening for the entire set. We're gonna complete a 1,000 card binder because there's like 967 different versions of cards in here. So basically a thousand cards we have to pull on Saturday. It's going to be nuts. So if you guys wanna be there while we complete the entire binder, we're gonna have a binder set up over there. We're gonna be like adding the cards as we go. It's gonna be a super long stream. So uh, if you guys like those long ones and you wanna be there, make sure you guys uh, give me a sub and then you guys won't miss it. It's probably gonna be, I mean, I don't know when it starts on Saturday, probably fairly early, so I'm not up all night, but you, it'll be hard to miss it. You know, if you're just here on Saturday, you'll you'll see some of it. Okay, so enough of that. Let's get to the opening. There's a lot of great stuff coming up this week, so uh, I hope you guys are excited. I certainly am. Uh, let's just see how this is gonna go. So we have Platinum. I don't know where the subset is. We'll probably be able to tell pretty quickly because it has to be Quarter Century or Platinum. So there's a Platinum at the front. That could be the subset. Super rare, Triple Tactics Thrust is in here, which uh, was in the tens and we never pulled it, if you guys remember. Well, we already pulled it on the first pack of Bonanza, so. Uh, okay, so the subset's right at the front because right there we didn't get anything but a Platinum Rare. And it has to be Platinum or Quarter Century, so that means it's the subset. Deep Sea Diva is actually a really good uh, reprint for Edison. There's so many good Edison and Goat reprints in here. It's gonna be it's gonna be so, so nice for those those players. Uh, unfortunately, oh, Shergodia, so another nice Edison card. I don't even, luckily these aren't my cards, so I don't have to figure out how to sort of. If they were mine, I'd be like, okay, so I want to get my goats over here, my Edison's over here, the playable ones, the ones I'm going to keep, so, you know. I don't have to worry about that yet. Uh, I don't have to worry about that yet. We have Thunder Dragon Colossus, which is now not banned, and our first QCR, Sky Striker Ace, Shizuku. So the way it worked with like Rarity 1 and Rarity 2 was there was an 81 card set, and every card was in all seven rarities. So this one is not the same as that. Premature Bear, that is so cool. This set is gonna be so good. Summoning Curse, that's our first collector rare. Oh yeah, wait. Time out, we'll get back to what I'm explaining the set in a second, but these look a lot more like Japanese QC, or Japanese CRs. Time out, wait, you guys see this? These look amazing. 
These look a lot like the Japanese ones, the way they're like super shiny. Oh man, this set's about to be, this set's about to be crazy. Konami, Konami, you outdid yourself. I'm not gonna lie. I think you guys may have crushed this set. I mean, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Let's see if there's anything weird going on, but the CRs, I've always had a problem with us not having as good a CRs as, as Japan, and it, it looks like they upgraded them. They look way better. Okay, you bells in the uh, subset, that's a QCR. Heat wave. I need to go back to what I was saying. Granted opening. But basically, how this is different. So instead of all all 81 different cards, so only 81 different cards, seven different rarities. So 500 was it 507? No, 567 cards total, I think. Like different versions, like collector rare, ultra rare, all that stuff. And the problem is I can't talk because I keep there's always a QCR at the front. Um, the difference is Bonfire is in here as well. Oh my gosh, every good card is in here. This is insane. How this works is there is a 200 card subset. So there's a set within the set of 200 cards that can only be quarter century or platinum rare. So that's the very front. So every time at the very front, you're going to get your subset card, which a lot of them are just throwback cards. I don't really know. That's kind of a random one. I get no, it fits with like the Phantom Beast. So that makes sense. Um, the other cards will be uh, like all these cards from four, like two to five in terms of the second to the fifth card will be the cards that can be any rarity. They can be like super, ultra, ultimate, collector rare, platinum rare, QCR, what did I miss? Secret, regular secret, unless they've already had a QCR like SP Little Knight, that will not be able to be a QCR. So that can only be in six rarities, I guess. I'm assuming. So there's a Sacred Phoenix. That's cool. Polymerization, Altar, Deep Sea. Man, there's so many good. The bulk of this set. Okay, that is, that's not great. A, a damaged Mermail Abysteus. Let's see if we can flatten that out. Yeah, it looks a little better if you flatten it out. It's still definitely been not the craziest card, but that's also not a guaranteed, like, you know, one. The, the nostalgia subset is going to be easier to get the QCRs because it's only in two rarities. And there's only, you know, you only need to open like 400 packs on average to get them all. Probably a little bit worse because you're going to get doubles, but branded opening. The collector rares look so good. Uh, Black Rose Moonlight and Rivalry and Secret Rare. Now people can floodgate and make it pretty. I mean, I think they had a CR before, but they can look pretty as they uh, make people want to punch them, punch them in the face. Uh, Instant Fusion area. We have one for one. Mech Phantom Beast Draco Sack and win the literally every good card ever has been reprinted. This is crazy. Uh, this set is going to be so amazing. Wow, this set is gonna be good. Uh, Snake Eye, that's two of those in a row. Ancient Gear Fortress, and okay, that's the Ancient Gear Fortress, interesting. They have had some Ancient Gear support recently, so that kind of makes sense. Wow, this set is gonna be a lot. Uh, Glow Up Bulb, that is a Platinum Rare, that's pretty cool for Edison. Swap Frog's good for Edison, Armageddon Knight's good for Edison, Promethean Princess, which was a huge card just a few months ago, uh, and I'm sure it's still really good. We never pulled that QCR, by the way, sadly. But with this reprint, it might be a little bit cheaper to get those boxes. Maybe we can get a Deck Devastation Virus. We've got the Atlantean Dragoons. Interesting reprint, Promethean Princess. Another... Wait a second, we haven't pulled an Ultimate Rare yet. Control Beast Tamer Elder and Abyss Shark. Okay, I just want to bring this up. You guys remember in Rarity 2 when you people weren't pulling Collector Rares in certain boxes? I had a box to open up and I accidentally gave it away. <laughs> Uh, Jarvis sent me one and then I accidentally shipped it or so I don't remember what I did And so I didn't get to open it for a video red eyes inside. Oh, that's sweet for the red eyes deck This is a dual links car. I mean, this is the most dual links card you'll ever see and Shizuku still no ultis though So I'm wondering if is there like an error where there are no ultis in here? There are definitely ultis in this set, right? I need to look at the at the set ill blood I, I forgot to check the focus, but uh, if you guys didn't notice, I moved my face, so <laughs> my matte face, my second face, I moved off the screen because uh, it was making the focus crazy. Branded opening, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism, and Tempest. And speaking of these mats, by the way, there are still some available on Whatnot, so if you guys are there on Thursday or Friday for the big streams, you guys can grab them. Or if you are, uh, you know, just want to go grab it now, they're available on the marketplace there as well. It is a whatnot exclusive item that also you get $15 off if you're a new user. It's $25 as a special price to start with, only $10. So go check those out. Yes! Oh my goodness, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. I have been wanting this card ever since it was in Maximum Gold to be in any other print and to get it in a QCR. I cannot wait to pull one of these for myself. This card is beautiful. I love the artwork. It might be my favorite Red Eyes artwork in Yu-Gi-Oh, like better than the original. I just got that little thing off. It's also a QCR, it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful pull. I'm so excited about that. 
That is really good, man. There's some good cards in this set. All right. Wow. Okay. Frontline. They just they just got a nice pull. I mean, I don't think it's that expensive, honestly. But for boomers like me who love the nostalgia set. <laughs> Red MD, that's nice for Edison. That's actually a great card in Edison. Punishment Dragon. What in the world? Uh, okay, that card. That grass looks greener. And Ancient Gear Howitzer. Is that? Oh, I, I just noticed the Rarity 3. I think people told me it said Rarity 3, which is funny. Um, that it was. It's like it, they had it queued up for Rarity Collection 3, and then there was all that backlash in Rarity 2. They're like, no, Bonanza time, baby. No, no, no. Don't, no, no more Rarity Collection. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to do that. We have Bonanza coming up. The Bonanza. Night of Salem Platinum Rare. That's cool for GOAT. Danger Bigfoot, Grass Looks Greener, and Tidal. So, so far, okay, no SP Little Knight. Uh, we have gotten Bonfire. We have gotten Thrust. So, okay, there's our first ulti. Danger Bigfoot, and it looks like they might have upgraded them to look a little better, too, just like the Collector Rares. I like, the question is with these cards is will they, like, stick to the sleeve? Because that tends to happen with the Rarity Collection cards, with, like, the Collectors and the Ultimate Rares. Like, you put them in a, a Penny Sleeve, and it just sticks. And you got to, like, break it off. It's kind of weird, so... Hopefully that's not the case there because we want the cards to, you know, stay nice over time. And if that's already happening right away, it's like they're probably not going to stay nice. First ultimate rare, though. Kind of weird. Sangin, very cool. We've got a Tempest, a Fabled Lori. What in the world is this card? It's an ulti. That's cool. Blaster and a Danger Bigfoot. There are so many shiny cards. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so fun. Oh, my goodness. I'm enjoying this so much. Marketing Gear Freed. Or Mar not marking a gear free, marking a fortress. This is also an Edison card. I'm literally going to be pulling out like half these cards just to put in my Edison and goat boxes. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to make any money on this set. It's going to be brutal because <laughs> these these the price of these packs I think are like six ninety nine a pack, uh, like retail or whatever MSRP. Rivalry of Warlords, uh, shiny, pretty card while you get punched in the face, and then a Colossus. $6.99 per pack, so the cases were super expensive, as you guys know, if you guys bought some. If you do want some, though, you can go check out Sassy Outer down below, get 5% off. Cases are just generally expensive because they're like a luxury set or whatever they call it. Uh, it is not as expensive, set rotation, very cool, uh, and Swap Frog. It is not as expensive as Rarity 2, which was $9.99 a pack for MSRP, which is just insane. But that was because Rarity had nine cards. This one only has five. I do think the five model works a little bit better here because you don't have to spend as much per pack and you still get a bunch of shiny stuff in it either way. Soul Servant, good for Dark Magician. Tempest Dragon, Monster Reborn, and Ghost Reaper. Another bent corner. So that is the only, that's really the major negative I've seen is there has been a couple bent, bent corners as we've gone through. Other than that, I haven't seen too much. But uh, as I was saying, the cases are super crazy. I'm going to want to keep all these cards. <laughs> Uh, I, the ones that I guess I'll grade some of them, you know, like the really nostalgic cards because we haven't seen the LOB. I think it's LOB Blue Eyes and LOB Dark Magician are in here. That artwork, at least. Future Fusion, another Edison card. So maybe I'll do some of that, but oh my goodness, I'm probably going to get killed on this one. Uh, you know, that's how it goes. So that's a great set. You know, it's all it's a good dilemma to have to have a really good set. And you're like, I really want to keep a lot of these cards. That's I'd rather that than just be like insta selling everything, which is what we do. With a lot of uh, a lot of core sets, just because you know it's a lot of meta stuff. Okay, which uh, you know, I have not played meta in a bit. Once it's in here, and that's really good. Uh, I have played a little Master Door recently, so that does that count? Does that count as meta? <laughs> Even though a lot of it was events, so it was like you know not the number one, not really what people are playing. They're kind of just making it work for the event. Nemesis Corridor. We have Galatea. And Ancient Gear Ballista. It's so weird to see this as a high rarity card. I still remember when it came out in uh, Dual Overload, right? Dual Overload when I opened up like 500 packs as a video with Chelsea. I think Chelsea was in the video. It was a long time ago. SP Little Knight, our first one. That's cool. And then a Thunder Dragon Dark. I'm going to put that in the nice, nice pile. The SP Little Knight. Wow, I mean, I don't really have much to complain about with this set. Instant Fusion, I mean, the, the things you could complain about are a lit, the quality control is not amazing. There's another bent corner, as we say it. It's better. Okay, here's the thing. The quality control with the rarities looks way better. So that's a big improvement. There are some bent corners. That's really the only, like, issue I've noticed in terms of, like, damage. And then you could complain. I know people will complain about the price, but when we get something like this with these rarities, it is going to be a little bit more expensive. And it seems like it'll, I don't think, oh, Demog. That's so cool. Man, there's going to be some sweet nostalgia cards. Um, I don't. I really don't think that there's going to be... I think this is going to be a lot more well-received than Rarity Collection 2 was because there's just so many cool cards. There's something for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. There's a bunch of bangers in there. That grass looks greener. 
wanted like if you're like ah, i don't really play meta you know th that's why a lot of people didn't like rarity or at least some people then the people that did were like these cards suck they're not any good but a lot of people are like i don't care about that because i don't i don't play meta i don't know any of these cards well this time even if you don't you just go for the nost i mean you have a, a slot every time that's a nostalgia set so you're gonna pull something that you like or remember like most likely if you just buy a few packs so it seems like they kind of crush it with this one. Black Rose, Rose Moonlight is pretty cool. That was in, I think I had that in my Blue Eyes deck for a while. I think I get brought out by the uh, Spirit Dragon. Is that the one that brings it out? Mission of Faith, beautiful. Looking really good. Fire King Island, that's a Duel Links throwback, man. I haven't seen that in a long time. Bonfire, QCR. Oh, remember when it, it got, it, we thought it didn't get a CR. We're just like, wow, that is kind of brutal. We've seen a lot of this set, guys, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited about it. So don't miss your chance to grab it. Use Sassy Auto's link down below. Get 5% off using my code. He is a very trusted seller, and that's a thrust CR. That's insane. So go check him out. Get 5% off. Get your boxes or cases today. It is a very fun set uh, so far. I can say from experience now, Destiny Draw, very cool. Draco Sax, Sign at Mining, and uh, Flamberg. Oh, wow. This is, this is insane. This is insane. This is insane. So many shiny cards. By the way, this is the shiny stack right here. That's from two boxes. Red Eyes Inside. The only one in there that's not shiny is the SP Little Knight. So that is a ton of cards. You're going to get at least 48 cards that are shiny. Plus everything else, there's a Hero of Perfection because you're guaranteed to get uh, one of them at the front. Six Samurai Kazaru. Only a few packs left. You guys have enjoyed this, the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Frontline Games in Clarksville, Tennessee. If you guys haven't been there, go check them out for helping me out with some uh, pack openings today and allowing me to open some packs for them. Pull some uh, Armory Arm, there we go. Some good cards, another Edison card. Six Samurai United ulti and a Polymerization. All the ultis at the end, it feels like. CRs at the beginning. Ulti's at the end. I don't know the ratios, actually. Maybe we should. It's going to be hard to do the ratios because I'll have to know what's in the nostalgia set to take those out. Uh, one for one. I probably should have put those to the side as we went. Oh, well, we'll figure it out as we go. We're, uh, it's going to it's gonna be hard either way. I'm, I'm sure the ratios are similar for those. Uh, Crystal Beast. Well, oh, I haven't even been. No, wait, no, never mind. That's a platinum. I, got, I started thinking of the old platinum. I was like, I haven't seen one of these. Swap Frog, Ulti, Danger Bigfoot, and Six Samurai United. Three packs left. My voice is only half here. It's been only been half here for like a month. Thessalos. And we got a lot to record for this set. So got to keep it going. You know, just got to battle through for Bonanza. We got some big streams coming up this week. Can't be messing around. Which is Black Forest QCR is really crazy. Oh, my goodness. Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernauts, Lord of the Heavenly Prisons, and Nemesis Corridor. All right, last pack of the opening. If you guys enjoyed it, do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Sassy Auto's link down below. I'm gonna put the nostalgia card to the back. And don't forget about the big whatnot streams on Thursday and Friday. We're opening this set on Thursday and we're giving away Buster Blader tin and some boxes and more. Friday, we're opening first edition Wavy Legend of Blue Eyes. We're giving away another Buster Blader tin and more of these boxes. So a lot coming up on whatnot this week. There's another collector rare, beautiful Six Samurai. Same card, we have Deep Sea Diva and Deck Devastation. Virus, what an amazing set. This is gonna be so much fun this week. So look forward to more videos and streams. I am so pumped. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Brandon Chaney, Matthew Miller, Ian Moose, Jr. Barding, Robert F. and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. See you guys next time. Peace.